James Kaufman on News Report today. Today is August 7th, 2022, 3.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, our electromagnetic field is getting bombarded. I do know we're being hit by solar winds from the coral hole that was earth-facing just a few days ago. These again, these spikes are from our electromagnetic field, and we're seeing spikes off the chart. Here the chart ends at 1600 hertz. These are all examples of that. So, uh, looking at this, I knew the Schumann residence was going to be going berserk. That and the headache I have currently. Now, the electromagnetic field is being bombarded for about nine hours currently. And there she blows, folks. We are getting smacked. The geophones are as bad as I've ever seen them. Uh, it looks like it juiced itself up and slowly juice itself down, maybe like something orbiting, or something we're orbiting. It makes perfect sense to me. Uh, same thing with the geophones. Again, guys, this is seven hours plus of intense Schumann resonance spiking. This is not healthy for anyone or any living tissue on the planet, period. It seems like each day I say it's getting worse and worse. I said that yesterday and into this morning. Well, if you look at all of today, it's more than worse. Now, remember, CERN was turned off yesterday. And believe it or not, it's turned off right now as well. And these spikes are ongoing. They're actually extending further than what we could see. We could see the 1800. Looks like uh, we can add a few hours to that. Um, we're looking at perhaps about nine hours of spiking on our Schumann residence. All, all of it off the charts. The charts here ending at 50 hertz. And again, we had spiking uh, at the end of yesterday going in today as well. These are hourly geophone strips. As you can see, the lighter they are, the stronger the uh, spike in the Schumann residence is. And as we can see, the strongest hour was about three or four hours ago, although we've had some very strong time periods throughout the last hour as well. So it doesn't appear to be over yet. It is absolutely pressurizing my head. And as you can see here, we're almost out of Sunday here, 2230. And, uh, we're going to be using UTC time there. No beam. CERN is completely off. Over to Discover, we may or may not have been hit by the M flare. It looks like it's going to come in further down the day. This might be coming out of the other flare here this morning. Solar wind started at about 300 kilometers per second. Very slow. They're up to over i think 600 kilometers a second that is a huge increase in speed for every kilometer a second we're talking about 2200 miles an hour here we see that uh there is a space weather indication when the solar winds increase over 600 kilometers per second but we also see that m styled flare that I told you guys would hit today and there it was a dip and then back to the flare and they probably met each other it's ongoing there are some higher registrations in there anything over 10 centimeters cubed is cons uh, considered a solar storm believe it or not space weather alert 10 centimeters cubed or higher but with this heavier plasma Usually you see the winds push down, but they are pushing their way up even faster than I thought they would end up. This is all per that small curl hole that was earth facing. Now, I don't believe that that's what's going on with the Schumann residence at all. We actually have satellites 
that tell us where the Earth's being bombarded. It's that same off-center night side of the planet that's getting bombarded by energy. It should be the bow and the bow shock. But I'm showing you where the energy is mainly coming from. This area here, as it always does on our magnetosphere cuts, as it has for the last year or two, always lopsided there, uh, depending on which uh, where the model is going here, the Earth's moving up at 67,000 miles an hour, orbiting our sun. You would think the surface charging with all the plasma and solar winds would be here, but it's not. It's on the night side, and it's exactly offset to the right, as it always is and has been uh, on our magnetosphere cuts, on everything we've ever seen. So, since this was basically nighttime, in Italy, and it's, uh, well, almost daytime there. But we can gather real quickly that this might be from a second source of energy from behind the planet. Again, this is happening in Italy at night. CERN is off, and we just proved that our satellites on the night side of the planet are getting bombarded by something. What that something is, is I don't know. Uh, everyone thinks we're ascending because of these spikes. I don't know about that either. Uh, I do know that there are millions of rogue planets. I know that most systems are binary. Many of them have what's called a brown dwarf, which is ultraviolet and not able to be seen by the human eye. I know that there are millions of black holes from the size of just one cell to being the size of a thousand of our suns or more. Uh, so this force could be that. It could be something we don't know anything about. <clears throat> I've heard a lot about that galactic sheet heading this way. I've been able to find very little out about that. This could be so many things, but it does appear, again, it's hitting on the backside, even with the heavy plasma in our bow, even with the solar winds at 600 kilometers per second. Our satellites are taking the main brunt. That was a real-time chart on the back side of the planet, and this would have been the nighttime side while this spiking was going on in Italy. So with all that together, either... Something's inbound. Either we have a second source of energy, whatever it may be, or we're orbiting something that is uh, full of energy itself. God bless you and yours. Please share it. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.